like to hand the floor over to our uh, kickoff speaker, uh, Mark Fee. Hey, thank you very much. Please join me in uh, welcoming Mark. Thanks very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is Mark Vina. I'm the CEO and Principal Analyst at Smart Tech Research. Can everybody hear me, by the way? Good. It's always good to check here. I'm thrilled to be here today at the Santa, Santa Clara Convention Center to talk about an exciting topic that is, does, that is really shaping the future of the smart home, that is, of course, sensors. I'm going to talk about the fascinating world of smart centers that are transforming uh, and impacting the way we kind of live in our homes. So let's get right off the bat and discover the endless, what I really describe as the endless possibilities of the smart home ecosystem. First of all, let's start with a bird's eye view of the typical smart home uh, as we know it. Sensors offer immense opportunities in the smart home ecosystem. By detecting and collecting data on various environmental factors such as temperature, humidity, light levels, occupancy centers, they enable automation and optimization of energy usage, uh, security and comfort. They can trigger actions like adjusting the thermostat, turning, out, turning on and off lights, and activating security systems. With the integration of the artificial intelligence and machine learning capabilities, sensors can learn their preferences, that's very, very important, anticipate needs, and create personalized experiences uh, that make our homes smarter, more efficient, and safer. I also want to make sure that we don't underestimate or ignore the non-trivial size of the smart home business opportunity. Statistic reports that smart, uh, the smart home category comprised of these categories that you see uh, described on the slide um, uh, generated nearly $32 billion in revenue in 2022. Statista also reports that the CAGR of the smart home, system, uh, smart home ecosystem is 10.2% uh, over the five-year horizon between 2022 and 2027, which means that the category could represent more than $52 billion in revenue by the end of 19, 20, uh, 2027. In other words, the smart home is a substantial business opportunity. Smart, home, uh, smart homes employ various types of sensors to monitor and control different aspects of the living environment. Some common types include motion, sensor, motion sensors, which detect mo uh, mo movement and trigger actions accordingly. Temperature sensors, which measure and, and regulate the, the temperature light sensors, which detect ambient light levels for automating light control. Humidity, humidity sensors, which monitor and manage humi uh, humidity levels. And occupancy centers, which detect the presence of individuals in a room to optimize energy usage and enhance security. These sensors collectively contribute to a seamless and intelligent smart home experience. We'll get more into this at the end of the presentation, but before we dive deep into the role of the smart sensors in the smart home uh, ecosystem, I'd be remiss to not uh, tip my hat to one of our uh, TV sages on the smart home ecosystem, the incomparable Phil Dunphy of Modern Family. So let's play that for a second. Of course he does. Uh, actually, 
As humorous as this clip may be, the big problem is that there aren't enough Phil Dumphys in the world uh, with respect to realizing the potential of the smart home. The smart home continues to be too challenging and complex for a large section of the mainstream consumer population. Few people want to become CIOs of their homes to make sure that the smart home lives up to the expectations. So let's first of all talk about a bunch of these categories that I want to walk people through in terms of what dominate the landscape of the average smart home. Motion sensors play a, a crucial role in the smart home ecosystem. These sensors detect movement within their range and trigger automated actions accordingly. They enhance security by detecting intruders and sending alerts or activating alarms. Motion sensors also contribute to energy efficiency by automatically turning on and off lights or adjusting thermostats when a room is occupied or vacant. Motion sensors add convenience, safety, and efficiency to the smart home environment. Door and window sensors play a pivotal role in the smart home setup. These sensors detect the status of doors and windows, allowing homeowners to monitor their security and access. They provide alerts when a door or window is opened or left open, enhancing home security. These sensors are for peace of mind, convenience, and increased security for smart home owners. Temperature and humidity sensors play a big role in maintaining a comfortable and healthy living environment in the smart home. These sensors measure and monitor temperature, humidity levels, enabling uh, homeowners to regulate climate control systems more effectively. By providing accurate and actionable information, these sensors enhance comfort and well-being in the smart home. Occupancy sensors are also, are also key in components in a smart home, offering numerous benefits. These sensors detect the presence of absence of individuals in a room and enable automation of various systems. They contribute to energy savings by automatically turning off lights, adjusting thermostat, uh, thermostats, and powering down devices when a room is unoccupied. By optimizing energy usage and enhancing safety, occupancy sensors make the smart home more efficient and convenient. Light sensors play a multifaceted role in the smart home ecosystem. These sensors detect ambient light levels and enable automated control of lighting systems. They contribute to energy efficiency by automatically adjusting the brightness of turning on and off lights based on the available natural lights. Moreover, they offer security benefits by, uh, by simulating occupancy when homeowners are away. Light sensors add convenience, energy savings, and ambience control to the smart home environment. Smoke and carbon uh, monoxide sensors play a potentially life-saving role in smart homes, ensuring the safety of, 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 and the well-being of residents. These sensors detect the presence of smoke and dangerous levels of carbon monoxide, triggering alerts and activating alarms to, to promptly warn occupants. They provide real-time monitoring, allowing uh, homeowners to take immediate action and evacuate if necessary. Smoke and carbon monoxide Sensors are essential for creating a secure and protected smart home environment. Water leak and flood sensors are vital components to a smart home, safeguarding and against water damage and potential disasters. These sensors detect the presence of water or sudden changes in moisture levels, enabling homeowners about leaks or floods that allow for timely intervention and mitigation. Water leak and flood sensors provide early detection, that's a very, very important point, and ensure a safer and more resilient smart home environment. Security sensors play a crucial role in the smart home, providing enhanced protection and peace of mind. These sensors include motion detectors, door window, uh, door window sensors, which we've always, already, uh, already spoken about, and surveillance, uh, surveillance, uh, surveillance cameras. They detect unauthorized entry, triggering alarms and sending alerts to homeowners uh, and security systems. Uh, uh, the uh, sensor, security sensors also contribute to an energy efficiency level by automatically arming or disarming security systems when residents leave or return. 
The integration with home, smart home platforms enables, uh, provides remote monitoring and control, making it easier to ensure the safety and, and security of the smart home environment. Energy monitoring. While well, energy monitoring sensors play a vital role in the smart home as well, empowering homeowners to track and optimize their energy consumption. These sensors measure the energy usage of different devices and appliances, providing real-time data and analytics and insights. By analyzing energy patterns, homeowners can identify uh, energy intensive areas and can make informed decisions to reduce wastage and save cost. By allowing for, uh, creating settings and schedules for energy efficient management, energy monitoring sensors can promote sustainability, which is very, very important, and help create energy efficient homes. Finally, let's talk about the smart, uh, trends in the smart home, both tailwinds and, and headwinds. Several factors are, are key in transforming the smart home space into a mainstream category. First, increased affordability and accessibility of smart home devices and systems will make them attainable for a wider consumer base. Second, seamless interoperability and standardization among different smart home products and platforms will ensure compatibility and ease of use. Third, robust security measures are, are absolutely crucial to protect user, user data and privacy, which build trust among consumers. And lastly, effective marketing and education efforts are needed to highlight the benefits and convenience of smart homes, which will drive adoption and make it a mainstream category. I spoke about Matter 4, and I showed that, that, that clip before. The Matter Smart Home Initiative, which allows seamless interoperability and a baseline level of security at, um, at the device level, offers enormous promise, but its rollout has been slow and lethargic. What's more, its awareness at the retailer level has been incredibly low, which has to change if consumers are going to get on the matter bandwagon. In addition, the smart home contributes to be a highly do-it-yourself experience for most consumers, though professional installers, especially with home security solutions, can be an attractive alternative. This concludes the end of my presentation. I hope you found it informative. If you'd like to engage with me after the conclusion of, of today's presentation and, and today's um, event, you can follow me on Twitter, LinkedIn, and subscribe to my Smart Tech Check podcast and YouTube channel using these convenient QR codes. Thanks for your time, and I'll take some time for a few questions. All Someone has to have a few questions. Yes. So you put matter up there. Is there any other leading technology? And is the matter as a retrofit or a net new building? It's it's not it's not net new. I mean, matter you know, has been around for about three years. Um, it's absolutely in the smart home and even smart buildings to a degree is an absolutely required um, capability because I think people are tired of having to worry about what, what smart assistant you have in your house to activate that product. But, you know, the Connectivity Standards Alliance, which is the group behind that, they've got a great stable of um, companies that are on the bandwagon. The problem is, is anytime you have a, consor a consortium, a non-for-profit consortium, the problem is, is that the, the standard is only as strong as what the willingness of the participants are willing to provide, and it's been pretty uh, low-key. Um, if, if you walk into 10 Best Buy stores, you will not find, you know, um, probably anybody at the Genius Bar who knows what matter is. The other thing that's disappointing about matter in my regard, and, and disappointment doesn't mean I don't think it's necessary, it's absolutely necessary, it's just taken a lot longer to get um, where it needs to be, is that there's a baseline of security uh, capability with matter devices, which I think has gone under the radar screen, uh, frankly. So um, I'm hoping for a lot more traction, but so far it's been, you know, a bit, busy, uh, been a bit uh, disappointing. Does that help? Another question. <laughs> I'm sorry? Well, Sidewalk has enormous potential. I think the way it was rolled out was a bit uh, misguided because it was a, the, the, uh, for those of you who don't know what Sidewalk, it's a capability that essentially allows you to roam from Wi-Fi to Wi-Fi and have connectivity completely um, regardless of where you are. The challenge is, is that it was done on initially an opt-in basis. So there were security issues raised. Do I really want, do I really want um, 
a third party knowing that I'm connecting to their Wi-Fi ecosystem. So I still think it has a lot of potential. There's a lot of um, business ser uh, broadband service providers that are implementing their own version of sidewalk that might be a bit more um, digestible by most consumers, but the capability I think is great. I mean, the ability to c connect seamlessly to Wi-Fi wherever you are in a locality is a pretty big deal. So, Mark, I have a quick question. Sure. Brian, no second power apps. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's one thing to say, you know, you can have this ubiquitous deployment of, of sensors and stuff in the home and, and, and that also tell you. At the same time, like everything you add, uh, especially if data is getting crunched, essentially cloud of crunch, right, is, is, is exponentially increasing energy and therefore carbon footprints and all that. So when I see hear about a lot of it, I guess the first thing I think about is like just because you can doesn't mean you should. And maybe I'm an energy efficiency and power guy, so I'm kind of biased in that mm -hmm. regard. But if you can comment on how to maybe the you know the, the fair trade-offs or how you know with the sustainability uh, focus and everything, will that help, uh, you know, how's that going to impact the, uh, the, the uptick uh, sensors and not, not just people doing it just because they can't? That's a good question. I mean, by definition, the smart sensors that you're seeing rolled out today, especially if you walk around and talk to 40 or 50 companies, you know, without in a random basis, <clears throat> they're including, they're, you know, creating capabilities that are, are essentially low power. They're designed with low power requirements in place. They're using materials that are highly sustainable uh, in many ways. Uh, the sensors, I think, um, especially sensors that are used to, and devices on the edge, the so-called edge, are much more efficient than I think anybody ever really uh, conceived of. But even the materials that these sensors are using now are highly sustainable in the way that they're designed. So um, I think the entire category from a sensor standpoint is a very sustainability oriented and especially from an, an energy uh, usage optimization um, a standpoint. I think it's remarkable. Um, I, if you want to talk about even product categories, you know, one of the advantages of upgrading your home appliance, you know, I don't know how many people in this room have upgraded to smart home appliances in their kitchen. We've got a gentleman in the back. It's been very, very modest. And part of the problem with that is that the smart home element, the way those devices have been kind of marketed to people, I can use my voice uh, to turn on the uh, the oven or turn on the uh, dishwasher. It turns out that the smart home ecosystem and advantages are really not that substantial. What people miss is, and people, by the way, don't really replace their smart home appliances until they fail. I mean, and a good smart home appliance could last 10, 15 years. The interesting thing is for those people who have made the jump and upgraded to more current generation appliances, the energy and sustainability potential is amazing. You know, I live in, you know, in San Jose, which is not an energy friendly place from a cost standpoint. I recently upgraded my entire kitchen to smart home appliances. And the smart home appliances are kind of interesting. I now know how many times someone opens up the, uh, my refrigerator door. But the energy utilization, and I've tracked the number very closely, I'm actually using about 20% less energy using the uh, devices in the same usage model pattern. So to me, I mean, that's kind of the, unfortunately, that's the, um, the hidden advantage that I don't think the appliance companies have done a good job with promoting. Fair enough. All right, well, thank you very much. Please join me in the uh, Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, we'll